Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and this is the second part of the tutorial series on how to draw a shed in SketchUp. And what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is how to create these walls here. So you can see they're uh, two by four walls, and I'm going to show you how to use components to save yourself some time when creating identical walls. So in the first video, you should have built this here. So the first thing we'll do is grab the rectangle tool with the, which is the letter R on the keyboard. You click once at a corner to start and once at the opposite edge to finish and you'll see it snaps to the 8 feet and we just want to press comma 3.5 inch enter and that gives us the correct width Then we'll use the push pull tool to pull it up and go inch point inch and a half 1.5 enter and then we want to turn that into a group immediately that way we can protect it now to to figure out the height here you might you might already know the height that you want to go but in this case we're using the plywood to determine the height because we're going to use a full sheet of plywood here now if you notice on the actual shed model, I have the, uh, the grooves drawn in uh, because this is called Texture 111 plywood. So it actually has these grooves in it. And I would recommend not doing that because it makes it really difficult to make any changes to the plywood. So if I come into this plywood group, you can see I can only select each individual you know, strip in this panel. So I would suggest just going with a regular 4x8 uh, rectangle and using the push-pull tool to um, extrude it. So I'll just create a rectangle there, type in 8 feet comma 4 feet, use the push-pull tool which is the letter P, pull it up to uh, I think this is going to be 5 eighths of an inch and again we'll turn that into a group right away and I'm gonna have to orient this so I'll hit M to go to the move tool so I can grab these little red corners and snap to 90 degrees there and then I'll snap to 90 degrees here Now you only get those red things to pop up when uh, you're hovering over a group or a component so you want to make sure that you have it into a group already so I grab that and bring it over lock it there but I want to put a, a half inch overhang so I want to go down but see how it's snapping to the red and green axis and kind of snapping all over the place if you just use the arrow key if you tap up on the arrow key see how it snaps to the uh, the blue axis you can do the same thing with left or, or uh, right arrow key it'll snap to uh, the green and red axis as well so I'll bring it down type 0.5 inch enter and then I want to make a copy of that same piece of plywood so I'll reference this corner tap control on the um, keyboard and then finish over here referencing this other edge and I'm gonna give that just an eighth inch uh, gap as well so now that I have my height uh, at this point what I would do is select these three uh, groups here and I'm gonna make these into a component because I you know I'm starting to build my wall so I wanna start I wanna make that into a wall component early on because I don't wanna start drawing all these things and then have to go back later and select all sorts of little pieces and parts to um, to make into a component down the road so once you have like two or three parts of, of a component that you want to build go ahead and select all those parts and make it into the component then and then now what we'll do is double click this to activate that component so now we're just drawing we're working in this wall component that we just made out of these three components and we'll just continue to, to work on it so I'm gonna drag this uh, top plate up Again, uh, I just reference the corner, tap control to make a copy. 
I hit up on my uh, arrow, uh, the up arrow key on my keyboard to reference the blue axis and I'll come over to this point here and then we're gonna draw some studs so use the rectangle tool and come out here we already have the three and a half we just need to put the 1.5 inch with the push-pull tool select that face and come up in reference either the edge or reference the point it doesn't matter now notice uh, we'll, we'll turn this into a component because we want to use this multiple times so the first uh, this bottom plate we just used a group and this top plate we just used a group now I could have used a component for these um, and that would have that would have made it so if I needed to change the size of this this one would have changed as well if we had made them out of uh, if we had made a component out of that but you know when you're only dealing with one or two copies of something and especially when it's such a basic shape usually I don't I don't mess with components because there's some times where you need to make a small change to one and you don't want it to propagate to the other one so like right now if I come in here and you know change the size of this this top one is not gonna change because they're independent groups but this stud we're gonna have a lot of these studs so we want to make a component out of this so we can edit it later and have all the other ones change as well so we'll triple click it to select everything and notice how since everything else is in a group it doesn't get selected so it's protected from you know the edges and faces uh, that are exposed right here so we triple clicked we're gonna right click make component I'm gonna just name it stud 3 because I already have some components made here from this shed and then what what I'll do is uh, make a copy of this stud with the move tool and along the red axis I'll click to finish and then I'll hit 15 0.25 inch and then the next one I'm gonna make multiple copies of it go 16 inches enter and then I'm gonna go 5 and the multiplication sign enter and that makes five copies and then I just have to come over here to this last one reference that edge and move it in three quarters of an inch so now that we have this wall built as a component and you can see it's a component if you look at your outliner so this is the floor framing I'm gonna collapse this this is the shed over here so so you can see this is the shed this is the floor framing and this is the wall so it's really important to try to stay organized with your components in the outliner if you need to get to the outliner you go to window and then outliner and when we open that up we have all of these stud components here and then we have a few groups the plywood the top plate and the bottom plate and you can see the difference when you have the little four squares here versus a solid square uh, that indicates a component versus a group so we're gonna take this uh, wall component and actually let me show you first real quick the benefits of having these studs as components so I just double clicked to enter this this stud uh, component and I'm gonna use the push pull tool now notice um, how I can't see the top of this um, this stud but I I'm hovering over it and SketchUp will pretend like nothing else is there so if I, I have a shortcut that gets rid of everything else so I'm just gonna hit that on my keyboard so see how it's selected right now it's selected as well so it doesn't matter even if something's in the way you can select it when you're when you're inside a group or a component so I'm gonna select that and then as I drag it down you can see all the studs they're moving as well that's because they're components so everything is exactly the same and we're going to use that same principle with this wall because this wall is going to be the same thing as this wall over here. So I'm going to take that and use the move tool, tap control, 
bring it somewhere arbitrary over here and I could do one of two things I could just spin it around like this um, but actually what I want to do is flip it so I'll right click and flip along green axis so that actually makes a mirror copy so if I had just flipped it around it would have been like opposite and then you just come over here and and move the the final positioning of it so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do the rafters um, and then to do the the gable end uh, studs as well because you kinda need to figure out the rafters first and the roof line before you can do the studs for the gable wall and if you'd like to learn more about SketchUp be sure to visit my website at mastersketchup.com